doing something with this would probably be looking at your guitar. Now your, your hair is a lot of different lengths in these pictures. What, what what kind of length are you looking for? So I'll, I'll send you I'll send you another photo that'll that'll end up being probably more okay. along the lines of it. It's not going to be a um like a performance photo, but it'll no, be no, more of like right. a. I've got the pose down now. Trying to check up on the chat every once in a while, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Appreciate, appreciate you guys all staying so active. And I got to affiliate pretty quick. I want to figure out how to do this partner thing, you know? Yeah, same. I'm right there with you, man. We are... Except Jeff has like two, no, three hundred percent more followers than me. Till after this, when you guys all hit that follow button, and then I'm good to go, right? Exactly. Everybody, please follow Billy. Any anything, anything like that. Any subs subscribing is also awesome. I'll let Definitely you guys a long way. Let you guys wait and watch a couple videos to see if it's worth subscribing. You know, but I do appreciate yeah. <laughs> it. <laughs> Let me see here. Nice. Best best field trip finale. Such a good stream to watch literally at night. Thank you. That's cool. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, Love to you, hear did that. Did you send some pictures in the chat already? Let's um, no, I'm trying to get it to okay, actually it's send. All good. No problem. I'm going to kind of just work off this photo for now, and then if I need to change the length. I mean, obviously, this picture would look better with long hair because... You want it flying all up in the air? Mm hmm. So, where's everybody watching from? Is everybody here in America? Or we got like Europe or Australia or all that stuff? I'm sure you guys are watching from all over the place, unless it's a really weird time in one of those. I know some people might be from Russia, Russia the UK, nice. um, Ireland, Canada. Nice. Got some Argentina there, New York, Spain, Ireland, Netherlands. Nice, Sweden. Very cool. Nice. Well, I'm currently oh, yeah. I'm currently in California. That's where I live. See a couple Californians in there. Yeah, I, I love how <clears throat> how we can do this. Uh, you know, while you know during this whole pandemic and everything going on in the world you know we can still connect Stay to each other connected yeah where do you where do you think uh where do you think water parks does the best where's where's your like biggest <clears throat> man it's like a it's crazy because like i feel like we do just as well in the uk as we do in the states it's kind of like a tie there nice here and there uh, we've never actually been to Russia, but we have people that come from Russia to our Germany shows. We do pretty good in Germany as well. Nice. Um, yeah, Russia's a hard place to get to. You know, we've been doing this for 20 years, and we've only been to Russia um, once or maybe twice. Either we did two shows there and one tour, or we've been there twice. Okay. Yeah, twice, actually. So we, we supported Pink for a little bit on her tour in Europe. And yeah. um, Pink went to Russia, and we played one show with her, and then we did one of our own shows in Russia. And it was crazy, though. Like, the crowd was insane there. This is kind of... Both of those are a little bit more closer to, like, what my hair length is. Okay, cool. Let me see. I'm going to check them out. They're... Again, sorry. They're, like, vain. <laughs> Very, I feel, like, ridiculous sending sending selfies to you or whatever. Yeah, these are good. These are going to be my new phone backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are pretty short though, so you got no long hair in the back. Okay. Uh not really. It's like okay. it's like a slight little mullet yeah, yeah. a little okay, bit. Okay, okay, so. Alright, so how come so what's it look like like in the chat when some people's names have um purple squares like or they're they're highlighted? What does that mean? Highlighted means they use so you have these channel points. Um if you are looking at your Twitch Exactly. Um, I only, I have 670 channel points saved. So, whenever they anyone that is watching your stream, they the more they tune in, the more and more they they rack up these points. Okay. Um, and once they rack up a certain amount of points, you can actually change these and edit these to do spe special things. 
um, at some point. Like my buddy, uh, my buddy, whenever they like spend, they save up like, I think it's like 30,000 points or something. Mm -hmm. He has to put on his Batman mask for mm. like majority of the rest of the stream That's kind funny. of thing like that. Yeah. Um, but so what that, what that is, is um, they they turned in those points in order to be able to make their message highlighted. Oh, okay, so that you, okay, so you can see, see it, it better, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. There's a lot of really cool things um, there is. That, that you can do with this site. Just when I think I'm getting Twitch figured out, there's, there's something new, you know? Yeah. All right, so oh, what, yeah. what I'm going to do here, another thing that makes you guys can see it for a second, I'm going to open that up. Oh yeah. So that's sort of the, the drawing I'm working from. Man, what a Man. time that was. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this guitar out so I can get this angle because it's a very specific angle. And then I'm gonna bring it into this. Now we can make sure that I'm getting all those details right. Okay, so we're gonna have to turn this up a little more. That's sick. And this dude is. Look at what he's doing. This is insane to me. Right now I'm <laughs> cheating because I'm just taking a photo. But, you know, like, uh, uh, I would not be lying if I didn't tell you that, like, half of your favorite artists do this kind of stuff. But for me, it's also, like, muscle memory. Once I've drawn something, like, your brain kind of just remembers it. Just like anything, when you're, when you're learning a song or a new scale or a chord progression or something that you really like, um, mm -hmm. it's like muscle memory. So it's like... If I have, if I'm having trouble with a pose, and I'll bring in a photo, and I'll start to kind of work over top of the photo, your brain is just remembering what you're doing. So the next time you go to work on something, it's it's just like, oh, I remember how to draw this. So. Oh yeah. You know. right, so. That's super cool. I'm also have to, you know, take some liberties to make sure you bring your own style into it. You don't want to just trace over a picture. So, okay, mm -hmm. a couple of people keep asking about teaching themselves to play guitar. I've seen a couple of people say that. Um, what do you think would be a great way to teach yourself? How did how did you learn how to play guitar? Did you like take lessons? Did you teach yourself, or how did how did you learn? Personally, I I taught myself. Um, I I moved from California to Houston school. Uh, you know, right whenever I started high school. So I didn't really know anyone. High school is already hard as it is, especially, you know, with how everything goes. And, and when you're a new uh, kid. Socially, yeah, when you're a new kid and everything. Um, and so I just, I kind of just got inspired, and I was like, I, I just want to learn how to play guitar. So I just started looking up tabs is all. Sure. Learn shapes through tabs. And then... Um, one of the one of the best things that Austin actually taught me while I'm, I'm still learning, like you never you're never not learning guitar. You can always learn um, more than you know. Very true. Um, is to practice to a metronome. Extremely important from 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 what I've it's it's helped me a lot. Especially when you're in the studio. Yes, exactly. You know, make <laughs> make you a better. I mean, I remember when we went into to do the Young and the Hopeless. So we did that record with Eric Valentine and Eric's definitely like a little more like old school producer. He loves like vintage gear and, and that just kind of vibe. So he was like, you know, I, I know you guys are going for this sort of, you know, modern sound, but he really wanted to try to pull some kind of, you know, traditional punk kind of sound. And he was like, I want to do this whole record to tape. And we were like, wow. And he knew he had all these old tape machines and he goes, but doing it to tape pretty much means you have to play it perfect. You know, there's no like going in and adjusting it in, in the computer. So he's like, I yeah. actually, I want to record the whole band live, like at, at one time. And I want to do it to tape. And we're like, Oh cool. Yeah. That'll be awesome. You know? And <laughs> so, so we, we sit down and we start like 
tracking down some stuff and he kind of hit stop like 10 seconds in and he was like yeah this isn't gonna work <laughs> you guys sound a mess um, you know we're like no 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 <laughs> we got this and he was like okay he's like we're gonna do it different so we ended up not recording it as a whole band we each recorded our parts individually but we still did mm-hmm. it to tape you know so so we'd have to That's go sick. in and like each part he'd be like nope play it again nope play it again nope play it again nope play it again and like a couple parts like i mean i must have had to play them 50 times over and over and over and over to the metronome or to the click track just to make sure it sounded perfect and and that's really where you learn right away like man if you can't play to a metronome or right on time you're gonna waste time in the studio it's expensive to be in the studio and if you're you know nailing it your first take it's gonna work way better than than doing it 50 times so it made us we all left that studio session like being 10 times the players we were going into it because he kind of forced us to to work outside of our comfort zone that's awesome though that's really cool i didn't actually know that it was cool i don't think we've uh, ever done another record like that but we've never done anything to tape it's always been pretty much through like anything digital for the most part yeah i mean every other record we did the same way he took the tapes and he transferred the tapes digitally you know like he put them into pro tools for mixing and editing and stuff like that but just to get that sort of texture from tape you know he really wanted to have everything recorded to tape at first yeah absolutely that's sick which is so weird you know because you know like like i was mentioning i do a lot of producing and beat making and it's crazy how often i run something through like a tape emulator to get that sound you know but it's almost like you're going backwards hey yeah. we got a couple people in the chat using my bat emote so that means we got some subs in there thank you guys very cool yeah Oh yeah, I was gonna say anybody that can, let's see those those Billy Martin bats. Those are sick. Yeah. I haven't seen those yet. Yeah, those look cool. I've got like a bat. I've got a little demon head, and then I have like a twenty-seven. I used to have a clothing line level twenty-seven back, back in um you know good Charlotte heydays. So I made made the twenty-seven emote for the for the OG fans. That's really cool. I love that. And, I'm trying to get something in kind of in the same realm as far as like stuff that's dedicated more towards like our our older fans and things like that too it's cool Ooh, yeah. at last has i said i have some l27 tattoos Ooh, crazy yeah that's awesome very cool thank you and lots of bats popping up in the chat first when i was making these emails i was like i don't really understand what i'm doing and then i saw someone use the bat and i'm like oh okay now i get it cool yeah i thought it was cool. gonna be like you know like the the new follower pop-ups like you can make you can make your own gifts for that kind of stuff too right like you don't have to use the preset ones that that they supply i don't believe so yeah i, I believe you can you can create your own yeah i don't really know how to do gifts but i kind of don't think it would be too hard to learn that might have to be my next adventure all right, so here's scroll out a little bit. We can see how this is coming. That is looking awesome. Cool, just kind Very of cool. Says the stream is super laggy, but we're here to stay. Sorry that it's so laggy. I don't know what's up with that. If yeah, I... it's just internet stuff. <laughs> I wonder, like, I have 2G and 5G at my house. So if I switch to 5G in the middle of the chat, is it going to log us out, or do you think it'll keep us going? Uh, it'll probably log. It'll probably end the stream, unfortunately. All right, so you guys are going to have to deal with the lagginess then. Yeah. Let me go ahead and refresh this just to see if it'll help. So, Jeff, you said you plug straight in, right? Like, you don't do wireless to help get a better signal? Yeah, I, that would be like personally any recommendation for that um, as far as what we can do to like help your internet. If it's your internet, it, that it might be. I mean, um, it is I I can only imagine your router is probably pretty pretty far or your modem is pretty far away. It is yes. You can buy like a uh, super long Ethernet cable and run it throughout the house. I but... guess I could do that. You know. <laughs> Maybe not the worst idea. I actually ended up having, uh, we switched internet providers not too long ago. Um, and uh, I had them just install the uh, modem back here in, in, in the room that I stream at so that I have the optimal um, streaming 
you know, situation. Pretty good idea. Let's yeah. See, someone asked if I ever checked out Carpenter Brute. I'm not sure. Is that some, uh, probably last time I asked for music recommendations, maybe that's something somebody sent. I can't remember. So if I did, maybe it didn't leave a lasting impression, but it could have been good. Um, recheck that out. This person said that their brother bought a 100 foot ethernet cable for that exact reason. That's wild. <laughs> yep. My brother-in-law did that. Crazy that they make that. I know, right? Just typing up a couple things. Still, still not sure on the hair here yet because the hair is such, oh, yeah. such a part that really makes that picture so cool, but you don't have all that hair. So I'm trying to find a way to get that energy. Man, make make it whatever you, well, you know how to I'm, make it come to life. Technically, I'm doing you, so I need it to look like you, you know? So. <laughs> True. Very Sorry, true. We'll, we'll keep messing with it. We'll get something. Very, very cool. I'm actually going to take step away for just a moment, okay. uh, but I'll be right back, okay? All right, cool. You guys can't all leave now that Jeff's leaving, okay? So how many people in the chat have seen Good Charlotte and Water Parks together? Because we have toured together a lot of times, so I have to assume some, some of you have. Ain't going anywhere, Billy. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this this is coming together. I'd say a lot of you guys are new water parks fan. You guys are just figuring it out. I mean, it's been really awesome to see. To see their rise, you know, from a band that, that nobody really knew when we first started working with them to how well they do now, it's crazy. Uh, I'm going to have to plug my, my camera in because it's not getting enough power. So give me one second. You're going to lose both me and Jeff for a second. All right, I keep using my iPhone as my uh, as my camera just because it works the best. I'm gonna one day I'll get a good streaming camera too, so I won't have to use my phone. Hang on, I think it's got to re reconnect. Give me one second. All right, there we go. Water park stand since summer of 2018. Nice. Yes, I have listened to Palais Royale before. I like their new record a lot. It's got r really cool sounds on it. They definitely kind of changed it up a little bit. I'm, I like it. Listen, I see someone saying there's so many baby stands. Listen, from, from a, a person who's been in a band for... ...band. 
you can manage to have a fan who stays around for a long time, it's the best. New fans are great too, but it's really cool when, when people stick around for a long time. Let's see, Aces. No, I, I don't know who Aces is. Is that a band? I'll have to check that out too. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it sure is convenient that the people that you follow show up in a different color, otherwise I wouldn't have noticed you. <laughs> yeah, of course I listen to Youngblood. I've been a fan of Youngblood since his first record. I'm going to try something a little different with the hair here since Jeff's hair isn't quite the same. something like that would probably look cooler shout out to Johnny and Liam thanks for watching guys I need I need Jeff back here to moderate this chat. I can't keep up with it. Um, IDK hi. I know of them. I've I've. Just I think just maybe a fill in drummer for. Um, and we got along really well, so Ryan and I have known each other for a long time, so crazy to see to see his journey. I'm, I'm really glad to see him in a band where he seems happy and doing well. He's such a just a really positive guy, too. I am back. How's it going, man? We're good. How are you feeling about this hair in the red? Does this look a little more closer? Yeah, man, that's that's cool. This yeah. Par. Yeah, totally. Not not perfect yet, but cl but closer. Yeah, that it looks great. Kind of flying up, but that's that's part of the action here. Exactly. I mean, that's that's gonna happen. <laughs> it does happen. I don't, I don't have, I don't really put hairspray in or anything. So, <laughs> I've got plenty of wild hair picks too. You know, sometimes you're like, dang, like that's what I look like. Like you never never see yeah. yourself <laughs> like that. Yeah. I keep losing my phone connection. But oh, is that that keep happening? Yeah, well, the the app I use, this like Ep, Epcom something or whatever. What's up, Leslie yeah. Parks? Thank you for the um, host. Very cool. Um, the yeah, like it, you can connect wirelessly or via USB. So sometimes it loses the. It's also like about to die and I can't reach the power plug from where my webcam oh, is set no. at. I plugged it into my computer so I feel like it should be getting power but I'm afraid that might be what's happening. I'm going to see that it's charging. No, it's charging now. Okay, okay. So at least that's going up. I'm not sure why. Yeah. I'm going to reconnect this. Okay. Hopefully, okay, we got it back now. Someone asked if I could slow down the chat. I don't Casual sabotage. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. I can I can help. Do you have any uh, mods by any chance? Um, I mean... Moderators for your chat? No, I don't. If you go to your chat real quick, mm -hmm. um, like, and then you just do slash... Jeff, I'm not going to make you slash. a moderator. I know what you're trying to get at. It's not going to happen, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Hang All on right. Hang, All on. right. Hang, on. Hang on. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right, so where I'm going into to Streamlabs? No, in, in on Twitch. Uh, you should be able to do it through Streamlabs. Okay. Um, do you see the chat on Streamlabs? Yep. Setting All right, so you do forward slash, 
and then go type in mods space and then type in underscore Jeff. Uh, what was the first thing? Just mods? Yeah, so space. forward slash mods space. Forward slash mods space. No ats or anything, just your name? Just my name, yeah. Let's try that. Did it say that it, it allowed me to do that? It says that the moderator of this channel is the restream bot, which is not you. Okay, so <laughs> for, forward slash. Oh, wait, there we go. Something happened, I think. Um, okay, mo okay, not mods, but mod. Oh, okay, yeah, my bad. Mod. Noob. Yeah, I know. All right, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. We're cool. good to go now. <clears throat> now I got mod view. I'll go ahead and slow the chat down for you. Give me a moment here. I'm trying to catch some of the Twitter watchers. Roman Perez, what's up, man? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Do a 10 second slowdown for now to see how this goes. Okay, cool. I got a nice little message from Restring saying that we'd already hit over a thousand um, chat, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah, they're sick. They're they're awesome. Right. They're killing it. <laughs> Jeff has too much power now. I know, right? Welcome. You've created. What have you done, Billy? All right, start kicking them out one at a time. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I will I will not kick you guys unless you unless you're disrespectful. That's right. And if you hate Spider Man, then um then you're you guys are out. Fully. <laughs> Is that your favorite superhero? I think so, man. I, I really, really love Spider Man. I'm agreeing, so He's definitely... my favorite like superhero, but like my favorite hero is Link. I would pick Link as my favorite too, and is definitely my son's favorite too. My son is like a major Zelda Link fan. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I don't know if I told you before, but my daughter um, is actually named after uh, a character in Zelda. Her oh, okay. her her uh, full name we got we call her she goes by Rory, but her full name is Ferora. Ah, nice. Which is the uh, <clears throat> there's like you know if you ever played Ocarina of Time. Of course I have. Uh, yeah. There's the uh, Okay. Yeah, so it's like the the green one. Okay. Um, and it's like basically the goddess uh, who created all life and like you know all the greenery and everything. It's 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 very cool, and it's also the goddess of courage, which is a huge thing for me. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a cool name. I have I Thank have uh, actually have a Zelda uh, Legend of Zelda tattoo. On my, uh, awesome. It's kind of like like really random. So it was one of our first tours that we ever did, um, and I was playing uh, Wind Waker on a, um, a Wind Waker on on the tour bus like all the time. I was super into it. We were on tour with with Newfound Glory at the time. Yeah. And uh, you know, I. I it's um, funny you bring that up though. I'll, I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> all right, cool. I have um like Link Shield with like the Triforce and stuff on it on the back of my leg, and then there's a banner wrapped around it that says NFG on it. So it's it was like a newfound glory like Legend of Zelda like combo tattoo that I got. Awesome. That's Ka sick. Kind of random, but that's just just sort of was like, that's where I was at at that moment, and I was like, I don't want to, you know, and I love those guys. They're really really good dudes. Yeah, that's awesome, man. No, I uh, I literally just started my playthrough on of uh, such a good game. I love the art style. Yeah, me too. Um, was that the first Toon Link? Was that like the first one they did it with? That was the very first Toon Link. Yeah. Yeah, that was yep. that was definitely cool, man. When I first saw that, I was like, dang, gotta get this. Oh, right, so yeah. people are arguing in the chat over who the um, the best Spider Man is. Ah. So I think. Uh -oh. Personally, yes, I'm gonna go with Tom Holland. I love Tom Holland. Parker, in my mind, as far okay. as like he's 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 lanky. You know, Andrew Garfield has like that long neck and long legs, and I think of Spider-Man as being really lanky. Like when I draw him, at least I like to draw his limbs like really long and skinny. And so Andrew Garfield just had like 
the perfect sort of just natural body shape to play Spider-Man. So I, I thought that worked really well. But Tom Holland is so likable. Like when I see him on screen, I'm like, oh, he's just the coolest. And I got I've, I got to meet him at. Con- I- I always get like the the best stars, and he had Tom Holland there, so I got to bring a couple Spider Man drawings that I did, and have him sign them to my kids. So I got to bring home like my art that was like you know to to my sons with with um, Tom Holland's signature on them. So that that was a pretty cool moment for us. That's awesome, very cool. Man, I I don't know, I don't know which one. What is is gonna be my favorite? Is it? I'm trying to think of ex- which one was it that? Um, and there's Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. That's it, you know. Yeah, let me let me see exactly which one Tom Holland was, because let's see. Yeah, I've, I've I, done. I, a, I'm trying to answer some of the questions in the chat. I've done a couple variant covers for Spider-Man, actually. I thought on Bucky Barnes, um, like the actor or like the character in the comics. my favorite artist isn't drawing the book anymore then i would kind of stop reading it i just would kind of bounce around um let's see hell hero needs to know which spider-man issues what's the spider-man ones i've done technically none of them are spider-man actually i did a captain america cover that has cap and spidey on it champions cover which has spider-man i've done two stan lee um like variant covers interacting with spider-man but technically none of them were actually for a spider-man book so okay, i've done spider-man a lot on covers but not for the actual spider-man book that's super cool though it's definitely cool anytime they ask me <clears throat> to do spider-man it's it's a good day so yeah i do think andrew garfield is my favorite spider-man after seeing which one that was because i do agree um tom holland The movies that Andrew Gar- Garfield were in, um, kind of, I feel like they they fit, they f- it just fits better, to me a little bit. Yeah, like uh, like the story behind all of it. Yeah, they were good, and I I have some more fun facts for that. So the the guy who directed most of our videos from the first record, he directed the motivation proclamation video. Um, he came out, I think he came out on the road with us to do the festival song video, and then he came back and did the river for us, like a. Few Name's Mark Webb, and he directed both of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. Which crazy to see him starting out as just a music director, kind of working his way up in the industry, and next thing you know, he's he's doing Spider-Man. So, so I was I was really stoked when I heard about that because he's also another like really nice, genuine, sweet guy. Oh yeah, that's so, super cool. I was always hoping I would like run into him at Comic Con or something like that, but I ha- haven't run into him again since. here is it you keep it short and then the long hair is over top of it or is it yeah all long? so let me see because neither of the pictures like show that so on the yeah so the the side my left side is going to be more of like the longer like kind of bang bangs side technically okay okay i see like in the one picture there's actually like some hair that kind of it's not like shaved or anything like that Shorter, so we'll kind of bring it out. Like Shorter, that. like underneath, and then it's kind of like an like an undercut, but not like shaved. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, how's the uh, how's the slow chat? Is that too slow? You guys think you guys are okay now? Because I can adjust it a little bit. Yeah. Yes, Tom Holland is definitely not American. He does. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Hell Hero. Very cool. See, Hell Hero on there is actually a friend of mine. We've known each other since high school. 
Oh, sick. Yeah, we he 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 was in a in a a band that my old band that we were talking about earlier. Okay. Um, we known him for a long time, but he's a big streamer. So anyone you looking for good gaming streaming content, you guys should all go go follow Hell Heroes channel. That's right. That's sick. Very, very cool. Well, it's very nice to meet you, man. That's that's awesome. Yes, I definitely don't keep in touch with a ton of people from back in the day, but... Were they... Were you at the... There, when you guys did like the four four uh four show run with us on the east coast, do you know if they showed I don't up? I think so. I can't remember the last time you came out to a show. I mean, I know you've come to a couple here, but I can't remember what the last one was. Yeah. I think we played. I gotta remember. Before I move on, I'm going to go on to maybe like the cleaning it up a little. No, I got to put the jacket on you. That's the problem. I got you wearing a t-shirt, but you want that jacket. All right, that's I can fix that. Forgot yeah, about that's the jacket. Yeah, pretty much the only thing. That looks sick, man. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the shoes will actually end up being just kind of like um, just like a, a boot. Just More a black boot. A boot, okay. But the pants are tucked into the boot, so. Okay, okay. It falls together. It's hard. Mm -hmm. What you haven't seen GC since the Tower Records release party? That's insane. I thought for <laughs> sure you would have come to another show. Is that Tower Records? It, where? In no. Ma like in Maryland, yeah. Like oh, okay, I was like, because we did a Tower Records like release party for one of ours, but that was in Japan. I yeah, because like, there's no Tower Records anymore, as far as I know, they're gone. Yeah. It was like a couple, maybe a year or two ago, there was a Tower Records we went to in Japan, uh, in Tokyo. Yeah, I think the Tower Records is still there in Japan. I've been to that too, yeah. Yeah. It says there's Tower Records in Bethesda. I think um, we're talking about the Annapolis one, but there was a bunch of them, yeah. Yeah, maybe they didn't just <clears throat> didn't, didn't, uh, stay around. I have a jacket vibe here. Another one of those digital art pluses, you know? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and fix that pretty easy. Um, oh, this jacket has a zipper in the back, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nuts. <laughs> I can, if I want to, I can un unzip it all the way down and it's two pieces. It's very That's, weird. That, it's cool though. The simple <laughs> things in life we miss right now. I, I would love to put on like jeans and a boots and a jacket and like have a reason to like put on cool clothes, but instead it's just sweatpants and a t shirt every day. We are in <laughs> yeah. quarantine, you know? Yep. I got some sweatpants I got at the Nintendo Store of America. Oh, nice, and, nice. That's NYC, cool. man. Yeah, it's like my loungy. It's pretty much what I've been mainly wearing. That's pretty um, cool. While I'm old. Home. All right, so at least we got the jacket. And let's see, there's this little line here, and there's like a patch, but you won't really see too much of the patch. Wonder if like we'll see some of the jacket. No, that's not yeah, Jeff, like the videos are a little bit out of sync, um, but it's still it's still very appreciated that you guys are are hanging out. I think it's just uh, everyone being on just internet stuff, internet stuff. In general, the internet's just slow for everybody, right? Yeah. All right, I think I think I might want to pull your head up a little bit. Actually, we're gonna bring it up. I wanted to, so it's up to you. Either 
I can keep working on this in another time, or we could plan another day next week, maybe if we want to do like part two of this, where you could finish, where I could finish working on it live or something like that. Yeah, man, that's um, that's up to you guys uh, in the chat. What do you guys think? If you what guys would you are, like to do? If you're into it and you want to see more, like I'd love to to keep going. It'd be fun to uh, to keep it going. Go on tour. That's like always is stuck in our head. Definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> it's sick, man. I love that one so much. Another song. Part that... two would be sick. All right, we got some part two fans. That's good. The river is another song that forced me to be a good, better guitar player. Cause then we had the guys from Avenged Sevenfold come in and, and guest on that <laughs> song and. And and Brian did like a guitar solo through the end of it, and I was thinking how kind of some of our band dynamic works is like, we'll we'll do we'll write together and do things like behind the scenes, but then Austin will be like, by the way, I kind of put this shreddy 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 solo in, and now you have to learn it. Learn like, it, ah, right? Dang it! <laughs> it's kind of fun though. It makes you get better. Yeah, it, it really does, man. It, it makes you, uh, it, it makes you really, it forces you to. Uh, to get get better yeah do you know there's yeah they're interested in it so i'm definitely into it i'm pretty open next week so we could maybe try to do it early we'll pick a good day yeah absolutely i'm down uh we'll we'll have to discuss and then we can um yeah i'll try to maybe like clean up the sketch a little bit so that next Next one, I could just start inking it and coloring right away so that we're past all the sort of design phase. I don't know if it's just the the extra factors, like that because we're streaming our Discord video and, you know, that might be yeah, part of it. That could definitely be it. That we're using. And I also have my wife, two kids, and her mom who lives with us so we've got pretty much five people are using devices at all times over here which takes up a lot of bandwidth as well oh exactly yeah um so i've just been dealing with weird internet no siri i'm not this interested been really really awesome so far that looks sick dude thank you i'm glad you're happy with it Sometimes I get nervous on these streams, you know, because sometimes the drawings don't always go the way you want, and it's like pulling your hair out, like, why can't I see this, or why? One of the last jobs I was doing for, for Hasbro on the toy design, I, I did a bunch of Marvel characters, and I'm not really allowed to talk about what they're for, or who the characters are, or anything, but I did a bunch of cool poses that I felt good about, and then the um, my designer boss at Hasbro came back and was like, cool, can you draw all of these from the back now? Like the same pose, but flip it around and draw them from the back. So the, the way your brain has to work to think about the human figure in 3D when you like flip it completely the other way was like a challenge I haven't had for a long time. And it was really frustrating, but like really rewarding in the end when I would finally like These are really hard, but I feel like I'm going to become a better artist because of it. Can, can I do more, please? You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, all right. So, so in this in this picture, your your boots aren't really like over your pants. Do you want like like sort of like boots, like big boots that stick up like that, like this? I'll show you real quick if you can see it on video. Let's see. Yes. Oh, Hang one on. second. So uh, it's kind of dark. Let me turn up my lighting. Yes. What you are? Yeah. Oh that, man, what kind of boots are those? These are from Flato. Huh? I like this, man. Those are super cool. I'm gonna get me some of this. Okay. They're, they're sick, man. I love them. Well, in the meantime, take a picture of them so I can get all those details and send that to me, and I'll, I'll work all yeah, those, totally. those details into it. Even though when this yeah, becomes man. the emote, it's gonna be like so small, you'll never see any of those. For the most part. At this point, I would probably feel comfortable. And once I get the details of the, the pants and stuff, I would feel good to go on to the, the cleanup, like the inking stage. Might try a few different expressions on your face, like maybe the mouth, like kind of showing some teeth, or like some more different, 
expressions yeah, we could try yeah, yeah. with. So maybe I'll throw you a couple options and um, yeah, totally. See which one we're feeling, but I had to go and I had to get outside for a little bit earlier. See you, hell hero. Thanks again for watching, dude. Sorry, the homie's leaving. Oh, Got to shout him out, but yeah, I see you have to. Oh yeah, I had to get I had to get dog food earlier, so I had to put real clothes on. Nice. What kind of dog do you have? I've got a little Shiba Inu. Ooh, nice. I like this. I have a traditional like yeah, yeah. She is. Um, I had another Pomeranian for a long time. Um, who was an all black one. Sort of mm -hmm. where my my fascination with bats came from, because um, when he was really little, he was like this tiny little black fl fluff ball with like giant ears. And like we would like mm -hmm. carry him around a little bag, and like multiple people asked us at some point, like, "Is that a bat that you have?" Like, a couple people thought, like, "Is that a baby bat?" And um, we're like, "No," but he kind of looks like one in the crazy. So that was our first palm, and he literally looked like a bat. So um, yeah, I used to always kind of just draw cute little bats and stuff like that, and. I have a children's book that I wrote and illustrated a couple of years ago about a boy with like a pet bat. And that was all sort of just like inspired and themed from my, my little black Pomeranian. But the one we have now, um, her name is Mina. Cause in the Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula falls in love with, with Mina Murray. That's his love interest. So I was like, let's get another Pomeranian and keep the, oh, nice. um, anytime I see I'll a black a palm, I'm just like, it's nice. so cute. It's in the discord. His name was Miko. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Yeah. I have this little tattoo. I can never remember which ear it's behind. I think it's the other one. Yeah, back here on my neck. Here you can see it. It's a little Pomeranian with bat wings. Yeah. You can't see it. It's too hard to see in the, in the thing, but my little Dracula tattoo, so. It's kind of like a a big next step so i'd rather stop it at like a good stopping point where i'm not right in the middle of something so i think maybe we're going to call the drawing from here and then next week we'll finish it up yeah totally man um yeah we'll we'll discuss on the times i mean i'm down for thursdays or whenever uh works works most for you so cool i want to make sure we're not missing any anything in the chat so hey thank you all, all the new people who who came in because of jeff so jeff thank you for her for helping yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me, man, and thank you for doing uh, some awesome art. I'm like, I'm already super stoked, and we're we're just getting started. Okay, good. That makes me happy. So, all right, cool. Well, thank you, Jeff, and thanks everybody, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do this again next week. Okay. Absolutely. I'm waiting for them to respond, but I don't hear anything. I'm like saying that okay, as in they were gonna say something.